This lesson will answer the question, what are eigenvalues and eigenvectors? To begin, let's consider matrix A and vector X and determine matrix A times vector X. Matrix A times vector X is equal to the vector five five, which is a special result because matrix A times vector X is equal to a scalar multiple of vector X. In this case, matrix A times vector X is equal to five times vector X. When matrix A is an n by n matrix, lambda is a number or scalar, and vector X is a non-zero vector such that matrix A times vector X equals lambda times vector X, then the scalar lambda is an eigenvalue of matrix A, and vector X is an eigenvector corresponding to lambda. So again, going back to our example, since matrix A times vector X is equal to five times vector X, lambda equals five is an eigenvalue of matrix A, and vector X, the vector one, one, is an eigenvector corresponding to lambda equals five. So let's take a look at this graphically. Let's graph vector X as well as matrix A times vector X on the same coordinate plane. Graphically, we can easily see matrix A times vector X, or the vector five, five, is a scalar multiple of vector X. We can also say that matrix A times vector X and vector X are collinear with the origin as well as parallel vectors, which will always be the case when the vector equation matrix A times vector X equals lambda times vector X is satisfied. But this is not always the case. For example, if we take a look at the same matrix A and now consider the vector negative two, three, let's calculate matrix A times vector X. In this case, matrix A times vector X is the vector five, zero. We can quickly see vector X and matrix A times vector X are not collinear or parallel, which indicates the eigenvector equation is not satisfied. Let's take a look at two more examples. Looking at a different matrix A and a different vector X, again, let's calculate matrix A times vector X, which is equal to the vector three, three. And the vector three, three is a scalar multiple of the vector negative one, negative one, since negative three times the vector negative one, negative one equals the vector three, three. We can see from the graph, the two vectors are collinear with the origin as well as parallel, and therefore, Lambda equals negative three is an eigenvalue of matrix A, and vector X, the vector negative one, negative one, is an eigenvector corresponding to lambda equals negative three. And for one more example, let's consider a different matrix A, but the same vector X, the vector negative one, negative one, and again, calculate matrix A times vector X. Matrix A times vector X in this case is the vector two, three. We can see from the graph the two vectors are not parallel, or collinear with the origin, since the vector two, three is not a scalar multiple of the vector negative one, negative one, which means the eigenvector equation is not satisfied with this matrix A and this vector X. Before we go, let's take a look at one reason why we care about eigenvalues. Repeated multiplication of a matrix and a vector often occurs in applications. For example, matrix A raised to the power of K times vector X is equal to K factors of matrix A times vector X. This would be very difficult to do by hand, or at least very tedious. However, if lambda is an eigenvalue for matrix A with matrix A times vector X equals lambda times vector X, then matrix A raised to the power of K times vector X is equal to lambda, some scalar, raised to the power of K times vector X, which obviously would be much easier to calculate than the product above. In the next lesson, we'll take a look at how to determine eigenvalues of a given matrix, as well as how to determine the corresponding eigenvectors. I hope you found this helpful.